Say hi, Bonnie. Say hi, Bonnie. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Welcome back, everybody. That's my dog, Bonnie, and I'm your host, Kelly, also known as Redbeard. Uh, this little bitch, she's been dragging her ass across the carpet lately, and I don't know why. Maybe her stomach's messed up. But anyway, today I have. Oh, oh, just she don't like to not be touched. So anyway, today I got for you uh, Jameson cask mates. This is. Well, I'm gonna read it off the oh, website. Oh, Bonnie, what? So the next great IPA is a whiskey. Introducing Jameson Castmates IPA Edition. A whiskey that is finished in IPA beer barrels for floral, crisp, hoppy notes. Like craft beer? Not really. Well, why not try a whiskey that incorporates all the great flavors of an IPA? We matured Jameson Irish Whiskey in Irish Pale Ale Season barrels. And at the end result is something people, well, the guys at our Middleton Distillery for one, are calling the next great IPA. So if you're a fan of beer, of trying something new, or simply want to be the first to introduce your mates to your new favorite drink, my Irish accent sucks, try Jamison Castmates IPA today. I need to work on it. It's a whiskey with a little extra hop. <laughs> That's corny. Oh well. So this one's uh, bottled at 40%. I'm going to go ahead and I've had these poured up for a minute. I got my neat. I'm going to add a little bit of water to it, see if it opens up. And then I got one with one ice cube. We'll see how it goes. I'm going to go ahead and say, first and foremost, I am not the biggest fan of IPAs. Just I like a, uh, a dark beer, like a porter or a stout. I would much rather drink Guinness straight off the, the tap uh, mm. than most other beers. Ooh, this is um, so it does have that floral nose to it. It's like an earthy nose, which I know IPAs are real hop heavy. So, hmm. I'm going to have to say that I do not dislike this whiskey. I've had it before. At least I've had another version of it that I was not happy with. It just had that real hop-heavy flavor. See, now the nose. The nose is really reminiscent of that proper number 12 with the, the vegetation. Man, that, I mean, that's you get that from the hops. Yeah. I'm not real, I'm not mad at the, the flavor though. The palate, this is one, I've had whiskeys before that you would nose it and it just smells absolutely wonderful and delicious and then you taste it and you're like, oh, it's a letdown. Um, but this one, the flavors on the palate are so much better than the nose. Yeah, not a fan of the nose. Palate, go ahead and add just a just a little bit. I know I still gotta go get my eyedropper. Sorry, guy. I'm gonna release tomorrow's video, pouring it too, because I've already got it pre-recorded and throwing this one in. Recording it today, and then I will publish it in the next 30 minutes. So still the same on the nose, very vegetation-like. I think the water, the water opens it up a little bit. Now I have more floral taste on the palate. I'm going to go ahead and they've got, I haven't looked at them yet, but they've got the tasting notes on the website. Mm. Mm. Her, 
her face is just like leaning on my knee right now. I wish I could see it. So the nose is floral, herbal hops, grapefruit, citrus notes with subtle orchard fruits. Complemented by wood shavings and a little nuttiness. Yeah. Taste, hops and light citrus with sweet herbal notes and delicate spicy tones. So finish the lingering fresh fruit and hops give way to the grains of barley and a signature smooth finish. It really not, isn't too bad. Just drinking it neat or maybe just a dash of water. It's not bad. I've always, uh, for a while there, I would drink nothing but Jameson on the rocks. And you let it mellow out a little bit. And it's like sweetened water. I mean, it went down so easy and smooth. Mmm, this is bony. So let's try it on the rocks. Or with one rock. The chill muted most of the flavors. You get the hoppiness, but you don't you don't get any of the floral. At least I don't. Mm -hmm. I think. No, oh, what is it? What are you pouring at? Yeah, it's just all really nothing on the palate. It's too much. It's too much water for it. It's completely muted everything. But it's not unpleasant to drink like that with one ice cube, two fingers and one ice cube. No, it's okay. Uh, flavor wise, I think I would have to go with just a dash of water. Maybe bring it down to like thirty five percent. And I think that's where I got most of the sweet floral flavors, but just straight out of the bottle, nothing wrong with it. I am not dissatisfied by that. I went into this wholeheartedly expecting to be underwhelmed by this whiskey, and so far, hey, I like it. I give my, my approval. Um, I'm going to urge all of you folks out there to uh, pick one up. Let me know what you think. Uh, give me some feedback. I think it's a good buy. Uh, it's a lot better than proper number 12. <laughs> uh, but check it out. Let me know what you think. And uh, we'll have a good time. Also, I want to bring out... Uh, I'm planning on doing a, a whiskey cigar pairing video. But it's kind of in the works. I went and picked up... This is the fall 2018... Whiskey Advocate. On page page number 87. Go out, pick you one of these up. Whiskey Advocate. I don't get anything from it. No kickbacks, no whatever. But I know some people are asking for cigar, whiskey, cigar, liquor pairings. We've got a full in-depth article in here that will tell you exactly what you need to know. I, had, I haven't even got to read it yet, so check that out, Whiskey Advocate. Maybe one day they'll be like, hey, this guy's cool, and he's giving us props. Let's put him on the payroll. So, What? What? What did you do? What did you do? Well, anyway, I would give this one, this is a solid drink. I want to say here locally it's around $35 to $40, um, a relatively same price as the proper number 12. I would give this one a, a good seven. I mean, it's not going to blow your mind away, but the flavors are solid, readily available for the most part. At least it is here in the States. Um, but I'm going to give it a seven. So whatever. Um, check it out. Give me some feedback. Let me know what you think about it. Um, and uh, I think that's all I got for this one. So. Don't forget, Brady D. at the podcast. Uh, support at the patreon.com uh, backslash Kelly Redbeard Sparks. We also have a Patreon for the Brady D. Idiots. If you like what we're doing, if you think we're funny or idiots, probably. Um, check us out. Share us with your friends. Help support us, and uh, we'll keep bringing you wonderful content. So, 
that's all I got for you folks. Uh, like always, drink some whiskey, share with your friends and family, and have a good day. Take care.